Hey, my name is Josh with Adam Audio, and today we're going to talk about buses. What's the importance of a bus? A lot of people will ask that. So what a bus does, or an aux send, is it's pretty much assigning all these individual tracks. So for instance, we have all this, we're going to use drums for example today. It's assigning those to go directly to an aux send instead of going to the master. So what this can help do is it'll help you globally control any, all that, all those sources that you put in that bus. So for drums, a lot of a very common practice with drums is compressing the entire drum mix with like, you know, an SSL style compressor that we typically see. How do you do that? Let's show you how to do it. So first let's create an aux track. So in Pro Tools, if you're using this, it's um, Command Shift N and that'll pull up your track tab. So we're going to make a track, so we're going to make a new, we're going to make a stereo one because we want stereo for the fact that if we need to do any panning, you got cymbals, overheads, they're stereo sources, so you want to make sure you get the stereo field. So we'll start there and let's name this Drum Drive Bus. And everyone's going to name these differently. It's, it's totally up to preference. So, all right, so now that we've got that, next thing we want to do is we want to figure out what we want going to that bus many ways to do it. In this case, let's just sign, let's sign, assign them all to it. So what we're going to do is I highlight all these tracks. We're going to hold down shift option, go to the output. Two ways you can do this. You can either assign an actual bus to the input of that aux track or to the output, or you can just go down to the track and then you can go ahead and just find it. So in this track, you know, I got a lot going on, but you can find it and then it'll, it'll just automatically assign it. To that track see and now we're all we're going right to this bus totally preference you can do it either way all right so let's hear that so another important step you want to do just so you always hear these so if you mute or solo anything hold down command and hit the solo button so you want it to see grayed out so this way it's always running when you solo something out or mute something it's going to you're going to hear it happen if you don't do that you're just not going to hear it, if, if, especially if you have the aux muted and whatnot. So, so now we've got that going there. Now what you can do, you can essentially you can control the whole sound of everything, compression, everything. And then so say on this bus, say if you want to put, you know, compression on it, we can compress the whole mix globally. Okay, so with a bus as well, you can do it with any source. Like, for instance, if you want to bus all your guitars to one single bus and globally control those, you can too. So I see it like in a, there's a lot of instances that happen where you may have 20, 30 guitar tracks and you're just like, I do not want to put the same EQ cuts on every single track. What you can do is you can bus those out to go directly to one bus and just use one EQ. It's going to help with, you know, your processing power and stuff. And it's going to do the same thing, especially if you're just like doing any filtering and all the guitar tracks are the same, you know, they recorded the same way and they require the same EQ curves. You can just do that and control it globally. So you can save on power as well with plugins, but you can also do it with vocals. If you want to control, say like you have a bunch of backing vocals, you've got 10 background vocals, same scenario. If you don't want to use an instance of a compressor on every single one EQ and, and suck your processing power. You can assign those all to one bus and control globally as well. So there's many different tricks you can do with buses. They're, it's a very powerful trick to use in Pro Tools. I wouldn't call it a trick because you know, it's been around on forever on consoles and stuff, but it's just a really good method to use to help ease your workflow. 